Hello, my lovely learners. Welcome to Bloom and Grey Education. My name is Merida. Today's lesson is suitable for year five students who are applying into the Gifted and Talented program. It's a writing lesson and it's based around the stimulus, some risks are worth it. So it's another one of my lessons where I look at the student's writing sample and I give feedback on what they've done well and areas that they can improve. And this girl has really done a wonderful job with this story. There's lots of beautiful description in it. So this is a really great example of what to do. Let's have a look. So this is the stimulus that we're going to that we're that we're using. So we've got the fish diving out of the water and the saying some risks are worth it. You can either write to the fish or to the saying. And the text that we're looking at is some risks are worth it. Now it's not the most inventive title in the whole world, but I wouldn't be getting too caught up in what the title is, I would just stick a title down and then get going into the story. You get a point for having a title, whether or not it's the most amazing title in the world. So just get one down and keep on going. The luminous water rippled softly above me. The ocean was right there. I flapped my fin to the glass wall of the tank. Outside the pink and yellow coral was the home to many fish, home to many fish but me. I saw my family and friends swimming in schools, having fun. I would never forget the agony of being separated from them and being alone. Years passed with me being in a small fish tank. The ocean was now different. The coral and seaweed slowly disappeared, once flooding the ocean floor with colour. But I still longed to go explore and find my home, whether it was out there, whether it was still out there. I turned around, a huge face loomed from behind me. The lid of my tank suddenly lifted up. A humongous hand plunged into my tank. I swam around in terror. The thought suddenly occurred to me. Now was the time I could jump. I could escape. I could finally be free and happy. I swam to the opposite side of the tank. But then, should I really leave? I asked myself. One part of my brain said yes, and the other said no. The lid was coming down. As I saw it in slow motion, I swam as fast as I could and plunged right up into the ocean. No, screamed my owner with white rage as I set off. I swam and swam and never looked back. But now this part of the ocean glowed. The water glittered like pearls. Brilliant silver schools of salmon swam past me. I glided along admiring my long lost home like it was treasure at the under at the underwater world i was free at last i cruised along the coral as my worries slowly vanished i never needed to worry about a scary person behind me anymore i didn't need to worry about a tiny fish tank now that i had the infinite stretch of water around me maybe some risks are worth it i thought to myself so she has done an absolutely beautiful job. She's tied the idea of the fish stimulus and the some risks are worth it saying together beautifully. She's done a gorgeous job with the vocabulary, the luminous water, the pink and yellow coral um, down here. Where was it? Brilliant silver schools of salmon swam past me. Beautiful example of alliteration. Um, the ocean glowed like water, glittered like pearls. Again, another beautiful simile. The flow of the story is beautiful. So the way that she has um, established the setting um, and showed the the problem in that she she's been separated from her family, that now she's in this tank, uh, and that she she's got this this moment to um this moment to take this risk and escape and even though that and then and then within that moment there's another moment where she is should I take it should I take the risk and then she does and then it works out for her beautifully what for the fish I should say I also like the way that over time here years pass and being a small fit in a small fish tank, the ocean was now different. The coral and seaweed slowly disappeared once flooding the ocean with colour. Uh, and she could have sort of gone on there and said it was now bleached white and cracking away or something like that. 
I like that because that is one of the problems that's occurring within the coral, uh, particularly on the uh, Great Barrier Reef. It's, it um, speaks nicely to that world knowledge. So she's done a lovely job. There's, there's, I, I could, I could nitpick and find problems, but really, it's just gorgeous. Um, maybe some risks are worth it. Tying it beautifully in at the end there. So, what I would be taking from this, she's put the title up there. Some risks are worth it. Got it done. One of the things that, so in the lesson that I did with her before we started, before she was given the stimulus and sent away, was that. Tim Winton writing piece. So you can see that she's gotten some of that um, vocabulary from there. The uh, l- luminous, the glowing coral, the schools of fish, the water-like pearls. So she's taken that vocabulary and it's just take, meant that her the, the description within her writing has just gone up to that next level and it's just beautiful. So if you haven't watched that lesson, please go and do it. It'll be in the description because it really has helped just make her writing gorgeous so there's so the overall problem is that she's stuck in this fish tank but here's the like the climatic problem within the story so this moment where this face loomed above her loomed being another word that uh, she's taken from the text and so this is this is the problem through here and then the the happily ever after now she could have gone for a sadly ever after where maybe she misses and lands on the jetty or the the floor and flops and suffocates or the the owner manages to catch her and stick her back in in the in the fishbowl but i think that this is one of those examples where having a happily ever after is a beautiful finish to the story because it helps one because it helps to tie in the some risks are worth it um but just also the way that she's finished it, it means that the story has concluded nicely. Okay, so that is enough praise for that story. Uh, thank you very much for joining me for this lesson. I would really love it if you could please thank me in return by liking this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you at the next lesson. Mm-hmm.